Let's go. <laughs> this looks cool. <laughs> All right, it's like Godzilla, but not, you know? What's going on, you guys? James here with another real reaction, and the time is finally here, y'all. We're getting into the season one finale for Avatar The Lost Airbender on Netflix with episode eight, Legends. Of course, they're probably going to show us that big action spectacle that we were so used to seeing in the OG series here. And if you don't know, well, <laughs> it deals with an ocean spirit. Uh, so I'm excited. I am hoping it is even stronger than episode seven. While episode seven wasn't very weak, it wasn't also very strong. A lot of exposition, but you can get all my reaction and thoughts with the link in the description or floating around at the top of the screen and guys before we get into my finale listen you're gonna want to stick around the channel if you're loving this avatar coverage because i got more coming reviews i got comparisons i got we're even gonna talk tier list most likely I, I got so much to talk about when it comes to avatar the lost airbender on netflix so get subscribed down below hit the big red button and let me know in the comments so far what's been your favorite episode Alrighty, y'all well i'm not gonna waste any more time let's go ahead and dive right into episode eight legends Man, at the end of the journey, let's go. Oh, man. All I'm asking is that they nail the finale. Just nail it. So, episode 7 wasn't very strong. Episode 8, let's bring it. Yo, you know what? Gordon Cormier has got the hero poses down <laughs> this season. <laughs> it's, it's very good at that. Look at Katara. Okay. That bending's come a long way, Katara. Whatever Sokka did, uh, it's working because that's a lot of explosion. Hey, he said flameheads. <laughs> that's some kick ass teamwork. Sokka. Foul mouth. Said that twice. <laughs> Using that word. to be kidding me. I mean, what did they think? That the Fire Navy was just one ship? <laughs> one way or another, this is where my journey ends. I mean, it doesn't end here, Zuko. You got two more books left. Uncle. Lu Ten would have been proud. Ooh. Mm. Oh, Iro, you're gonna make Iro cry? Come on, Zuko. Oh. This is so sweet. Remember your breath of fire. You could save your life out there. I really like how they've given such time in book one with Zuko and Iro. Like that flashback really helped earlier this season. After I have the avatar. Oh, you can't cry, Paul. You, if you cry, it, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Where are you going? To even the odds. Yo, fire line. That is fire. To even the odds. Let's go, Katara. <laughs> you know we can make a difference. We. Nice. Cool. Katara, leading the way? Let's go. What a leader. Come on. You must take over. You are the future of the Northern Water Tribe. Hmm. My daughter. My gift. I wonder if they're setting it up for Princess Yue to not, like, turn into the Moon Spirit, right? They probably scratched that by now. So she'll end up leading the Northern Water Tribe? Very interesting. Master Paku told us to report to you. Hey, report to Kartara. That's right. We haven't finished our training yet, but I'm just glad Katara is getting more shine this episode. Let's go, man. Let me know. Yes, Master Katara. Master Katara. <laughs> Yo, as a Katara fan, that's cool. 
Just a bunch of mumbo jumbo about lion turtles. <laughs> lion turtles. Cosmic balance. <laughs> Push it. Well, let's do they know. Joe, you're not thinking of tampering with the spirit world. Are That's you? exactly what he's thinking of, Iro. <laughs> are you? I can see where they're pulling some of the source material into play here. I could see it. Dang. Oh, Avatar Kurok. Avatar Kurok? Hmm. Women, children, I'm not a monster. Yes, you're a monster. Come on now, Zhao. We need to find Sokka and Yue. Something terrible is about to happen. Everyone, head to the tower. You'll be safer there. Yeah, Momo? What in the world? Momo saving the day? Aw, <laughs> oh, Momo. Thank you. I I'm glad Momo got a moment. Don't you dare. Don't they don't they dare hurt Momo. Momo? No. Is he alive? Barely alive? Has Momo ever been this close to death before? <laughs> oh, okay. So remember in the original guys, it was Aang that comes upon this and then gets into the spear world if I'm not mistaken. Sacred spot in the north. The waters that feed yeah. overheated by the earth. But this looks really dope. In live action, at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Momo. Welcome back to the land of the living. Alright. Dumb dummy, don't scare me like that. Look at Sokka. So concerned. <laughs> the sage didn't know the precise form the ocean and moon spirits will take. That general is where you come am, in. Since am I wrong in spiritual? Maybe I'm misremembering, but in the OG series, no they were fish, right? This isn't like trying to find a in the pond? Weapon. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Hey, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Ken Leung is great as Admiral Zhao. <laughs> and you're coming with me. Now! Go. Yeah, Stop. Katara. Katara's like, yo, I got I'll you, Zuko. Like I'm gonna handle you, homie. <laughs> Come on. Go easy. Enough people have been hurt already. I don't care. What a diss. I Aang. wasn't talking to you. Hang. <laughs> Hang's a little sassy. <laughs> Yo, this is so cool. The bending is just it's just been incredible all season long, guys. Oh, cool. All the Zutara shippers are probably like freaking out right now. Oh, sick, Katara. Let's go. But Zuko's gonna get out of it. Push and pull. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was really hoping they wouldn't take away yes. the, the fish in the pond as the ocean and moon spirits. Yes! Good job. Yes. Whatever you do to that spirit, I'll unleash on you tenfold. Spare me your empty threats. Oh man, that that line is cool, Iro. Before Zhao, the Moon Slayer. <laughs> the Moon Slayer. Okay, that line kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> it didn't sound great in live action. It didn't sound great at all. Zhao the Moonslayer is like a character from a Zack Snyder movie. <laughs> You're right. I don't matter. Oh dang. Well, hey, hang. Oh. Oh, they okay, I was I was wondering if they do it or not, but they did it. Uh well, I guess UA is gonna be the moon after all in this adaptation. Let's go. Wow, that's a they all they all died just there? Oh wow. Okay. Oh, I like that it's like 
in grayscale, right? Like, y'all notice that? that? It's a cool touch. Man, Homeboy in the original series was not like this likable. <laughs> but now he's sitting there gonna cover the retreat. Oh man, look at him. These Fire Nation soldiers, why are they just not using their bending? <laughs> Yo. If Aang turns into that fish, bro, like at the end of the original book one, that'd be great. Yo, the score is insane here. <laughs> so epic. <laughs> huh. Okay. I mean, maybe him turning into a fish would have been weird to portray. It I take it back. They're doing it. Okay, I thought he was just going to... This is cool, okay. Yeah, bro, all right, I'm with it. I like how they're doing it here in the live action. Honestly, it's cool. Let's go. <laughs> this looks cool. <laughs> all right, it's like Godzilla, but not, you know? <laughs> the Avatar, there is no Avatar. Not anymore. They keep saying there's no Avatar. There's we know this is subversion. Come on, y'all. You know, crazy theory here, guys. So, Katara wasn't the one to get Aang out of the Avatar state in Episode 1 at the uh, Southern Air Temple. So I wonder, could it be Katara that gets Aang to distance himself and take himself out of that ocean spirit? Oh, this is sick. Let's go, Zuko. Did you really think the Fire Lord was going to take you back? Oh boy. Ozai was playing with you. Oh. It was all a game. Oh man, Zhao, why, why are you going to do that to me, man? Oh man. Is the one without the scar from Daddy. <laughs> Yo, Kelly is so good. <laughs> Who convinced the Fire Lord to send me the Yuyan archers? When shows do this. Like the 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 flashbacks to previous moments, try to connect all the dots. Unless it's like a huge twist, doesn't really work that well because you are the fire. we know it was Azula behind all this. They told us. Yo, Zuko was really about to kill that man. Wow. I'm glad Iroh came to save the day. Bye, Zhao. See you in Legend of Korra. Fire! This is seriously giving me heavy Godzilla vibes right now. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> it's not bad, like not a bad way, but I just can't stop thinking about it now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, the VFX is pretty impressive. It, larger scale action set piece, considering the rest of the season. It's so well done. Aang is lost. Dang, not even Kantara could bring Aang back? Man, I wanted my theory to work out, to be honest. Mm hmm, UA? Mm hmm. Oh, Sokka, man. Saka, yo, what up? I do like them together, to be honest. But we know that's not going to be a forever thing because UA is going to put Fly Me to the Moon on repeat. Mm. Amber Mid Thunder did a really good job. I'm not even up front. She did a good job. I need you. Okay. This is hitting. Good job, Gu and Dio. Also. Maybe my theory wasn't wrong after all about her breaking ink out of the ocean spirit. Ah, oh, the score is so good. Oh man, this is dope. Hmm, this looks cool. In that case, he couldn't have asked 
for a better master. Hmm. Yay, Katara. I'm just glad that Katara is getting some recognition here, you know? A man needs his rest. Hmm. I like how we're starting to see the turn and the shift in Zuko's character. It's like what he was fighting for for so long to restore his honor is now fruitless in a way because his father just don't care about him. You're going to learn water bending, and I'm going to make sure of that. And then earth bending. Earth bending from Toph. To yes, got to learn earth bending from Toph. <laughs> Anyone else hungry? Why is everything always about your stomach? Because it's where his brain is. Oh, says the kid with the melon head. Melon head. Oh, I could go for a melon. Melon Lord. Always the right answer. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. First time in a century. Boomy getting captured. Mashu is ours. And now only Bossing say. Oh man, Azula. And the total conquest of the Earth Kingdom. Yeah, this is for sure Azula. Just like at the end of the OG uh, book one, we see Azula at the end too. Hmm. The time finally draws near. Mm hmm. Sozin's Comet. When? Y'all know what this is. And if you don't, you'll find out soon. <laughs> mm hmm. We knew this was coming. They still haven't put a time on this, but we know that because Albert Kim told us that. Wow. Alrighty, y'all. Well, there you have it. <laughs> That's my real reaction to the season one finale of Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. I'm going to scan through real quick and make sure there's no after credits. Uh, nothing. Alrighty. Well, y'all, that was definitely the biggest scale that I feel like an episode has acted on so far, especially that action set piece between Aang as the Ocean Spirit and the Fire Nation Navy. So, uh, yeah, I, I really, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the finale. This was probably never going to be strong in the acting category, but more so in the action and i like that actually i thought it was a really solid finale and there's to me nothing that i could say is a glaring issue um i of course would like to see certain things happen in season two like azula hopefully having a stronger presence um and more shine for katara because look we, we got shine and for yeo and Dio as katara and look it works so like we need more of that you know what i mean um hopefully they uh, refine the writing a bit more and to be honest, this is not a bad season one, an adaptation of, of course, a classic, right? But I've got more thoughts and I do want to drop them. So again, go ahead and get subscribed down below. Hit that big red button because I got my review for season one coming soon. And I can't wait to really dive into this and talk more about my thoughts and flesh them out with you and hear from you, the real family, about what you thought when it comes to season one of Avatar The Last Airbender. Well, this was fun. Thanks so much for sticking with me on this watch along. And uh, yeah, more Avatar coverage to come. Again, thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you at the next screening. Melon Lord!